So last November, uh, my husband and I participated uh, in an interesting race. It was a race that, was, uh, that took us along the banks of Lake Michigan. Uh, we have been doing 5K races all over the country. I think it's a wonderful way of looking at God's amazing beauty and creation. We run along rivers and, and uh, mountains and uh, trails, and it's just been just a very inspiring process. But this particular race was very uh, interesting. In fact, I brought the t-shirt to show you. This race was called the Mo Run. As you can see, there's a little trail here, and there is the Mo stands for mustache. You see the mustache. Uh, uh, it's, it's held every November. It's a nationwide, month-long event that's held all over the nation. Uh, the purpose of it is to heighten awareness to man's health, particularly prostate cancer. During the month, uh, men are encouraged to grow mustaches. So if you see a lot of mustaches uh, during the month of November, you'll know why. Women, on the other hand, are begged not to grow one. But uh, we, do, we do become supportive of, of those mustaches in, in November. And you know, as I thought about that particular race, it struck me that it seems like every month we shine a light, for good reason, uh, on the different types of afflictions that ail us. We have uh, a National uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October. We have National Heart Health Month in February. We have uh, Autism Awareness in April. We have Mental Health Awareness uh, in May, and on and on and on. And it just seems that we're always shining the light on something that, uh, that afflicts us. And then I thought about that and I thought, well, when do we have a prayer month? We actually have a one day that we devote to the healer, our, our, the, Jesus Christ, our, our master healer, and that's May 1st, National Prayer Day. And it's the one day in the year when we actually all come together as a nation uh, and ask the Lord for his intervention uh, in everything that affects us, be it the wars, the natural disasters, uh, social, economic pressures and issues. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be amazing if we flipped it around? If instead of focusing our attention every month of every year on everything that afflicts us, we would give that same time and attention to the solution of those problems and the person, the healer, the divine guidance that we have, we're so blessed to have uh, in Jesus Christ. And of course, his ministry was all about teaching and healing. In fact, in Matthew, we read that, now Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. This is just one example, and we know that those examples abound where he healed entire villages and cities. Uh, the power of his healing, which is the theme that we have for 2014. And I thought about that and said, why, why can't we just flip it around and really focus on, on the one being, our Heavenly Father, who really matters and, and can really bring about these changes. Um, I also had a personal experience. I have a very close relative who for years suffered with panic attacks. She tried everything. She tried different doctors. She tried different treatments. She even traveled to different cities to no avail. But nothing was helping her. I actually remember one time she came to visit me and it was late Saturday night and she started with this horrific uh, panic attack. I ended up taking her to the emergency room uh, for treatment. She had been raised uh, with the Lord's teachings, but somehow she had distanced herself exploring other alternatives. But after all that, she had a young family and a very concerned husband. She decided that she was gonna go back to the Bible, back to prayer, and to meditation. And I have to say that I personally witnessed the transformation that she endured. It was, it was amazing. All of a sudden it seemed like the weight of the world was lifted from her. She no longer was restless and anxious and fearful about everything. No worries about the things that she felt she just could. She trusted the Lord and she put all her worries in Him. The anxiety completely, completely disappeared. What, what a blessing. People who know her and remember her back then just can't get over the change. 
Today she teaches the Bible, uh, and she said, you know, I tried all kinds of medicine, but there's no better medicine than the medicine of a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. And so when we think about that, when we think about where we are in this world with all the pain and suffering, what better medicine than to really have God at the center of our lives and to ask for His healing power. And here at Loma Linda, we're so blessed to be able to work with patients, patients who are told we can't find a cure, and yet somehow miraculously they're cured. Students who are told, who, who worry about, I wonder where the next funding for my tuition is gonna come, and somehow it happens. And employees who are so stretched with work and family and the pressures of uh, finances and raising a family, and yet they overcome all these challenges and they really feel at peace and able to make a contribution. It truly is a miracle and a blessing for all of us uh, to be working at Loma Linda where we don't just treat the body or the mind or the spirit. We make man whole by treating all three pieces just the way Jesus did. He created us all in one, as one being, to his image. Uh, and we're so grateful for his compassion. So if we could just remember that as we go through this year and may the message of Jesus as our master healer not just be for 2014, but throughout every day of our lives. Amen.